Hi, I'm Sabine, a 20-year-old girl with a book buying and book collecting problem. I own about 250 books and I have no space for any more books. But uh, like I said, I also have a book buying problem. So let's make some space on my shelves and unhaul some books, baby. <laughs> Okay, so uh, first of all, I look super chill because it is a lazy Sunday for me. I <laughs> just wearing no makeup, still in my PJs. I counted how many books I own at home, home, so not in my dorm, and I have 184 books in this room. Actually, even a little bit more because I have also books from my childhood, but those are in a different closet. They're not on my bookshelves. I'm gonna select the books that I want to unhaul on a couple of things. So first off, books that I read but did not like. Those will be out of the way. Books that I have no interest in, even though I haven't read them, I just know or feel like I won't ever read them again. <laughs> I thought there would be way more of like criteria things, but those are the the main things. Like if I know I'm not gonna read them or if I didn't enjoy them and just wanna get rid of them, I definitely have some books which I'm kind of like hesitant about. So still unsure what I'm gonna do with those books. <laughs> you guys can't really see it, but I'm gonna start off with this shelf right here and just remove some of my Funko. So I will just have a look. This is a book that I won in a giveaway. I've never won anything at all, but this is Autumn in the City of Angels. I mean, this is not a cover that speaks to my soul, but I actually thought that the premise of this book was quite interesting. It's kind of a dystopian novel about zombies. The thing is, I believe this is the first book. Yeah, it's the first book in a series. There are two other books in here and I feel like I won't be reading this book. Even though I won it in a giveaway, I, I feel bad about doing this, especially since I won it, but I am pretty sure I won't ever read it. Okay, okay, now we're coming near the interesting parts. I'm gonna unhaul Cinder and Scarlet, both by Marissa Mayer. Meyer. I read this book four years ago and maybe I was in like a reading slump back then, but it took me a freaking month to read and I enjoyed it, but I wasn't super invested in it. I did pick up the second book in this series, Scarlet, and I've heard so many people say that this one is already so much better, but it has been four years since I started reading this series. And if I really felt the urge to read it, I would have done it earlier and I know that everyone is going to be kind of pissed at me for unhauling these books but I don't feel like continuing on with this and even if I want to maybe later on in the future my best friend she has the beautiful hardcover set so if I ever feel the need I'm pretty sure I can borrow the books from her. <sighs> this book I'm feeling really conflicted about Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Ariyami because when I read it I enjoyed it I definitely did but I, I, I didn't enjoy it so much that I want to continue on with the series. I even just wanted to get the hardcover book because it's so beautiful. I have a couple of books which I'm super hesitant about, so let me know in the comments down below if you think I should unhaul it, even though I will probably not continue on with the series. Should I or should I not? Because I could make someone else happy with this book. I haven't read this one, also haven't read that one. Okay, City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. This is the third book in the Mortal Instruments series. I mean, a classic in the booktube community. I read book one and two. Uh, it took me some time to read the sequel. I enjoyed the first two books, but like a lot of the times, I just don't know if it's worth continuing on. I just don't think that I will read the whole Mortal Instruments series and the Infernal Devices and just, I don't know if Cassandra Clare is made for me. I'm sorry. Again, the covers are just so beautiful and detailed. In these covers, you have tiny illustrations that kind of tell the story. I feel like I'm gonna unhaul these books. <laughs> that will be uh, City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. The second book, City of Ashes. And the first book, City of Bones. Yeah, the first three books in the Mortal Instruments. I have a feeling I'm gonna unhaul these. Also, a lot of you guys have probably like grown up with this story. I didn't, so I don't feel like a nostalgic attachment to these books. Prodigy. This is the second book in the Legend trilogy. I will grab all the books. Again, a booktube classic if you ask me, or just like a YA classic around the 2010s. So the first book is Legend, then we have 
Prodigy, and the last one is Champion. I remember loving this trilogy. I read it so quickly at the beginning of my booktube career back in 2015. I read them back to back, which nowadays I rarely do. My enjoyment of the series went downhill as I went further on, but it kind of has like a, a nostalgic special place in my heart, but I know that I will never reread these books again, and they're just not that great in my opinion. These three books, hardcover, are gonna be unhauled. <laughs> Okay, I actually already have quite a big pile. I already have nine books that I want to unhaul. I have way more shelves to go. <laughs> mm, Peter Pan, beautiful edition, but I haven't picked this one up in four years and I don't feel the need to. I'm only having this on my shelves right now for aesthetic pleasure because it is just such a beautiful cover. Goodbye, Peter Pan. I know how I am with my classics nowadays. Keeping Throne of Glass, haven't read this one. Liked The Wicked Deep. I read this one. Okay, Sorcery of Thorns. I picked this one up in August, recently finished it because I was definitely in kind of a weird mood back in August. Once I read the whole story, I quite enjoyed it. I believe I gave this one a three to a three and a half out of five stars, but it's not anything special. And the only reason why I would keep it is because the cover is just stunning. The artist is Charlie Bowater and I follow her on Instagram. She has lovely art, but I can look at her art on Instagram as well. And I don't have to keep this book. Look how much space I have already on these shelves again. Like I can reorganize my bookshelves. <laughs> okay, I hope that you guys can see me. I'm sitting at a really awkward angle, but um, let's go to this bookshelf where I have all of my Stranger Things Funkos. Okay, so the third bookshelf, I am definitely unhauling these books in the Percy Jackson series and I'm giving them away to one of my best friends, Leora. I think I already gave her the third, fourth, and fifth book and that she has them. So I'm gonna give her the uh, first and second book in this series as well. Mm. <laughs> okay, Isla and the Happily Ever After, the third book in the Anna and the French Kiss companion novels. Loved reading these books back in the day when I started booktube, but I feel like especially Anna and the French Kiss is a very problematic book. So I don't think I will ever reread them, but I do know that I had a special connection with Isla. I thought she was just absolutely wonderful, but will I ever read them again? Not really. This pile of unhauled books Oh my god, it's getting so big. Where am I gonna put them? Let's continue on where I have Rory Gilmore. <laughs> Definitely unhauling Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Loved Colleen Hoover like three to four years ago, but I know that a lot of her plots aren't that amazing or are kind of problematic as well. I was in need for a very steamy romance book and that's definitely what you get out of this one. But after reading a Colleen Hoover book once, you've had enough. When I read a Colleen Hoover book though, I am binge reading it. Like in three days, I'm finished because her writing style is just so quick. And if you just want to have a, a good romance novel, definitely check her out. But she is definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. Definitely gonna unhaul Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. A lot of people are on the fence about this book. When I read it four or five years ago, I liked it, but I didn't feel like the story was anything special enough to continue on with the whole series. The only plus size about this one is that it's a super floppy paperback. Goodbye, Red Queen. <laughs> also, Unhauling Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. This cover is stunning, but that shouldn't be a reason to keep it. I read this one in, I believe, one or two days, and it was such a quick, fun read, but I didn't love the ending. I'm never gonna reread it again. I really want to see the movie though because I still haven't and that was kind of the reason why I bought it and read this book. I will definitely be picking up another Nicola Yoon book in the future, but this one, I don't need it anymore. Another bookshelf cleared out. How am I gonna film this last part? <laughs> okay, sitting on the floor. I kind of feel like the Trisha Paytas of book two right now. Okay, so this is the next shelf. Keeping this Colleen Hoover book though because I still haven't read it and I just want to you know, keep this in mind as a quick in-between read. Uh, okay, so these are the other two books in the Anna and the French Kiss companion novel series. I kind of wanted to keep this one just for sentimental and nostalgic reasons because this is actually one of the first books that I bought because of booktube as well as We Were Liars because when I started booktube, these books were all the rage, especially We Were Liars. The spine, I don't know if you guys can see, but usually it's like matte, but because I read it like so intensely, the spine has lost its matte finish. I will never read this one again. And also for Lola and the Boy Next Door, but they were just such cute read. Do they really make me happy if I keep them? Not really, so they're on the unhaul pile. <laughs> also gonna unhaul, oh, it's a manga, so Attack on Titan by Hiyame Isayama. 
This is volume one and I picked it up because I wanted to see if I liked mangas but I definitely enjoyed it so that's not the reason why I'm unhauling it. I believe that this manga series consists of 14 books and each book was like 10 euros and I just am not gonna spend that much money on something that I read so quickly. I'm also gonna unhaul Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. I wasn't loving this book as much as everyone else was so it was a little bit of a disappointment for me. I still thought it was cute and it was a really good story. I love loved The Upside of Unrequited, Unrequited by Becky Albertalli way more than this book. I'm also gonna get rid of Kindred Spirits by Rainbow Rowell because this is just the tiniest book ever and it was a quick cute story but I don't remember it so that says something. And then the last two books that I'm gonna get rid of are It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. This is definitely one of Colleen Hoover's books that has a little bit more depth to it. It's definitely about physical abuse in relationships so if you are triggered by that don't read this book. So this is definitely one of her books which I think has a bit of a deeper message in it. I read it, I enjoyed it, and now it's done. <laughs> and then the last book is World Mythology in Bite-Sized Chunks by Mark Daniels. I got this book in my very first fairy loot unboxing which was in May of 2017, I believe, or 2018. Like, mythology is interesting. I feel like I will never pick this one up. Sorry, I'm not that interested in mythology. So this first bookshelf had 70 books and until so far I've already have 24 books that I want to get rid of so let's move on to the second shelf of the three that I have here in my home. Okay so my second bookshelf these are all of my Harry Potter books I won't touch them these books are gonna stay on my shelf forever. This was wrong in an order this is the Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater and it said on Amazon that this was a second-hand hardback copy or how do you say that like hardcover copy but they send me an uncorrected proof so I cannot put this for sale and it's actually quite a really cool unique item to have so I'm not gonna unhaul this but it was a mistake I'm definitely gonna unhaul the manifesto on how to be interesting by Holly Bourne I loved Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne that's one of my favorite books ever so it was a really big disappointment for me that this is one of my least favorite books ever the story just didn't resonate with me it had great elements but way more elements which were just not that great. I didn't feel like there was a lot of girls support girls mentality and quite a lot of like slut shaming. I had such mixed feelings about this one. Didn't enjoy it so this is gonna be unhauled. We have a series that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna unhaul. There's still this tiny tiny bit of doubt but I'll show it to you guys. And that is the whole Shadow and Bone trilogy by Lee Bardugo. I read Shadow and Bone four years ago and didn't enjoy it as much as I thought that I would. So that has always kept me off from reading Siege and Storm and Ruin and Rising. But I kind of made this deal with myself that I needed to read this trilogy before I was ever gonna read Six of Crows. I know that you don't have to. I hate this about myself, but I always have this kind of feeling like I, I need to do it. That's how it's supposed to be. Like everyone has read this trilogy. Again, it's a booktube classic. So I should too. I also bought these books with a gift card. So it sucks that I just want to unhaul these ones too. But um, I'm gonna sell them anyway. When I look at these books, they just don't make me happy. And they just don't give me a feeling of, ooh, I want to know what's, what's going on. I think that's a sign of like, you should get rid of them. I have two copies of Crown of Midnight. So I have the hardcover and I have the paperback. And I have no need for a paperback, hence why I think I'm gonna get rid of this book. I love this book when I read it and I don't know why I haven't continued on with the Throne of Glass series. I, I should, but I never do. I never continue on with series. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is a tiny short story of the Legend trilogy, Life Before Legend. Gonna include this in my unhaul as well. Plus, I'm also gonna unhaul A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. This book was so hyped and I was so excited to read this because this is like a mixture between just a regular story and I was gonna say a graphic novel, but it has just some really beautiful dark illustrations in here, which I really, really enjoyed. But the story itself just didn't touch me in a way that I thought it would. Sadly, it didn't impress me as it did with anyone else. And then the lowest shelf, I don't think you guys can see it, but I will just show you guys the books that I want to unhaul if I have them. Ooh, and I definitely have. <laughs> okay, 
This book is just gonna get thrown away because it is not in a good state anymore. So this is Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. I removed the library thing that they had over this, but look, the whole book is just falling apart. I don't know if you guys can see it. I bought this book second-handed, but now I definitely know why, because it is just freaking damaged. Um, it smells awful too, and I just don't feel interested in the Falling Kingdom series at all. So this is just gonna get thrown away because no one can use this anymore. Or maybe I can give it to like a thrift shop. I'm also gonna get rid of Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delaria. It was again super popular back in the day, but it's not anything that really stuck with me. And I think I'm also gonna get rid of Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, The Universe by Benjamin Allier Science. Read it last year and I really enjoyed it, but I'm just never gonna reread this book again. And I feel like other people should have a chance to read this one too. I have nothing negative to say about this one. I just don't feel the need to have it anymore. And the same goes for History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. I actually really enjoyed this book. It made me more sad than I thought it would actually but it was definitely a really great emotional read. I just don't feel like I need to have this one anymore. I just really enjoyed it but it wasn't like my favorite book ever. I'm gonna get rid of Ellis's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. I thought that I would love this classic but it just confused me so incredibly much and I just didn't really understand it so I'm either kind of dumb and I don't know the meaning of literary books and stuff like that but I am never gonna read this one again. Oh my god, am I gonna unhaul this one? I think I am. And that is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Morgan Matson is one of my favorite, like, auto-buy authors, but this book disappointed me so incredibly much. It was way too long for what it could have been. This book is like 500 pages and it could have been put into a 300 page book. And it was kind of boring. I liked certain elements in it, so it was definitely cute and I could read it quickly so that's why I read it and I still enjoyed it but it's a disappointment and maybe someone else will like this way more than I did. And then the last book on this shelf that I'm gonna unhaul is Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen. Because I loved Colleen Hoover so much I kind of looked into other books that kind of had the same vibes and a lot of people said that Sarah Dessen's books were kind of the same but I'm reading the synopsis of this book right now and it just does not speak to me anymore. Unless someone else says that this is a really amazing book, then I'm gonna keep it, but I am gonna unhaul it otherwise. Okay, and then this is my last bookshelf at home. Holy shit, this unhaul is getting ginormous. <laughs> These are more of the newly bought books, so I'm expecting to not unhaul as many, <laughs> but I already see two books that I'm definitely gonna get rid of. And the first one is Again But Better by Christine Riccio. So many people know me through this video because it has almost 40 thousand views which is just insane and uh, if you've seen that video I really did not like this book so yeah I'm gonna get rid of it for that reason it was just so bad in my opinion for so many reasons just gonna say goodbye to my worst read of 2019 that brought me so much attention here on YouTube <laughs> and then the second one is opposite of always by Justin A Reynolds I expected so much more from this book because the premise of it sounds just amazing a love story feature a tragic end but then also time loops and time traveling so it sounded really interesting and I was so excited to see how this one was gonna get worked out but it was just an extremely cheesy YA contemporary which I never want to read again. <laughs> I have one last shelf left but I also have just stacks of book but I only have one book that I kind of want to unhaul from that and that is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I have a second copy of this book but then in hardcover because I've always wanted to have the hardcover. This is also one of the first books that I read because of booktube and it has a special place in my heart. I don't need a second copy so I'm either gonna reuse this in my art journal or I'm gonna make someone else happy with it because it is such a fun story. And then the last two books that I'm gonna get rid of is God's Children by Maudley Robert and then the last book is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I bought this book in Dublin so I did write down Dublin the 15th of April 2018 the day after my birthday and I just wanted to read this classic but I am not that uh, obsessed with it. Okay so I'm gonna count all of the books that I'm gonna unhaul that I have here in my home home and then I will show you guys all the books that I am gonna get rid of in Utrecht in my dorm. <laughs> Holy shit guys this is insane. <laughs> These are all of the books in my hometown here 
that I am gonna unhaul. So I have, but in total, I have 43 books that I'm unhauling. 43. Holy shit, so that's like about a fifth of all the current books that I own, which is just absolutely insane. I know that there are going to be a lot of people who will be able to enjoy these books um, that I just didn't or that I just don't feel like reading. So I'm going to unhaul them. I'm going to sell them. So I probably have put these already like on Facebook or on my Instagram or something. And looking at all these books, it is just insane that I'm going to get rid of all of these. But I think it's really great that I'm doing this right now. Also for myself to have more room again to get new books that I do enjoy and put them on my shelves here as well. So yeah, now let's go to Utrecht and see how many books I want to get rid of there. Hi guys! Okay, it is me from my dorm. I actually already recorded this on haul part once, but that was on my phone. And I don't know how to transfer long videos from my iPhone to my laptop, so if any of you guys have any tips, let me know because I've never been able to do that. <laughs> but okay, let's grab the pile. Without letting it fall, I guess. These are the 10 books that I'm unhauling here in Utrecht, my dorm where I live. Let's just start with this pile. So the first one is A Wrinkle in Time by Madeleine Langle. I, Lang, I never know how to pronounce her name. It's a mystery to me. This is part of a series and at first I wanted to get the whole series because I was convinced that I was gonna love these classic novels but I started reading this before the movie came out uh, because I was like oh my god it's gonna be amazing and I just completely could not get through it. So halfway across the book I gave up and the movie apparently was not that great. <laughs> I'm also gonna get rid of Het Afscheid by Jenna Blum and Sarah McCoy. I got this in a goodie bag. The story just doesn't interest me. <laughs> ah, a very unfortunate one and that is A Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier. This book is the whole reason that I started my fairy loot subscription box because this was the book which was included in I believe the May 2017 or 2018 box. I was so excited. This is a Mulan inspired story and Mulan is my favorite Disney movie ever. She's Oh, especially my favorite Disney princess. She's just so badass. I love her so much. So I was very intrigued to start this one. I read about a third of the book and um, I was bored. So goodbye. <sighs> Next up. I believe that this pile is, it's not full of disappointments, but I have a lot of dis disappointments. And this one was also one of those. And that is The Martian by Andy Weir. I expected this book to be 100% my kind of story. And it was like about 60% my kind of story. I love sci-fi, especially sci-fi movies. And they get me going. I just watched Apollo 13 and I love that movie. But I also love Tom Hanks. He is my husband. Oh my god. But The Martian by Andy Weir. Everyone was talking about this book, how amazing it is. And it's so funny and blah blah blah. So we follow our main character called Mark Watney and he's one of the first people to land on Mars but he also thinks that but he also thinks that he's one of the first people to die there because there was this big storm on Mars and his crew accidentally left him behind so now he's trying to find out a way to get back to Earth uh, but he's all by himself on this freaking lonely planet and the oxygen supply is going to zero and his food supplies as well so he's trying to figure out how to live kind of on Mars. I think, did I see the movie? I don't even remember. I think I did see the movie after I read this book but I'm not too sure anymore. Wait, have I seen it? I'm so unsure. I want to say I've seen the movie and that I enjoyed it but I just, I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this. I just know that this book contains a lot of science and a lot of explanation which makes it very good because it's amazing how an author has done so much research into this. It just I find it a bit boring and sometimes I just didn't get it or maybe it was also partly due to my lack of interest. I thought that I would find this one way more entertaining and way more interesting then I found it to be in the end. Then I have The Truth About Alice by Jennifer Matthew. I read Moxie by this author, which is one of my favorite books ever. It is a YA feminist novel, which is just sublime, sublime. How do you say it in English? I thought that I was gonna get some kind of similar experience out of this book that she wrote, but I completely didn't, and I really dislike the story. Next up, I have two books by Casey West, and the first one is On the Fence, and I have By Your Side. Casey West is a writer of quite cheesy YA romance contemporary books, which sometimes you should just read that. It's really refreshing. It's nice to have like a quick in-between read. I read both of these. Casey West writes fun in-between books, 
but they are not like super influential or super great to me personally. I haven't checked out her recent work, so it might have changed. I have Monday is Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. This is a mystery book. Monday is missing and the only person who seems to know this this is her best friend named Claudia and she just doesn't get why no one is searching for her and she's trying to figure out this mystery of where Monday is. This was a little different from what I expected it to be, but not per se in a really bad way. It was very dark at the end. Holy shit. I didn't expect that, to be honest. Like, the things that happened were really creepy and crazy. I really like the mystery part, but something just didn't, like, fully made me immersed into the story, I guess is how you could say it. I also really love that Claudia had dyslexia because my boyfriend has dyslexia. Just overall, I don't know how it is to have that, but in here, you see her writing diary passages and over time she gets a little bit better. It is such an eye-opener to see how her dyslexia plays out in this book. But I have read this book, I know the mystery now, so I'm like not gonna reread this anymore, but I definitely know that other people will enjoy this one. I have Release by Patrick Ness. This cover is like a mindfuck. <laughs> it is a contemporary story about this guy who is growing up in a very religious family but he also has a boyfriend and he's having struggles with that. But then on the other side of the town a ghost rises from the lake. Yeah, that was what intrigued me at the first place. I like premises where they have something a little bit crazy or a little bit unusual thrown into a usual plot, like a contemporary plot. I remember liking this book, but I just don't feel like I need to keep this in my collection anymore. <laughs> and then lastly, <laughs> I have After the Shot Drops by Randy Rebay. Rebay? So no, honestly, I'm laughing about this because the only reason why I was interested in this book in the first place is because my boyfriend plays basketball. And as you guys can kind of tell from this cover, this is a contemporary book about two best friends and a nephew who are very much into basketball and you follow that but also their life struggles. I was really surprised by this story and I quite enjoyed it but if it wasn't for my boyfriend I probably wouldn't have been like super eager to pick this one up. This book contains one of the most mature young adult romances in here which I loved. That was just so so good. You don't see that a lot in YA novels like people of 17 having really great communication skills in their relationship. This book has it so that was great. Okay so those were all the 53 books if I'm counting correctly that I'm unhauling but I'm so happy that I'm clearing out my shelves. I'm having a really great start of 2020. If you guys want to buy any of the books that I'm unhauling some of them have already been sold but you can just send me a message on Instagram. This is my Instagram. Please send me a message if you're interested in buying any of these books. I just want to get rid of them and make other people happy with them. Yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a, a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. If you guys want to follow me on all of my different social media pages of course you can. I have Goodreads because I'm a booktuber, but I also have Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address, plus a Twitter. I made a Twitter. Oh my god. Please follow me. I have like seven followers. <laughs> it's not a lot, but links to those are in the description box down below as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.